Hello folks, I am back and I'm here to do a Q&A of regarding the 1911 uh, bobtail type firearms and their magazines. And uh, before we get into that, let's talk about core essentials. I've been wearing core essential belts roughly for about a, a year and a half or so. And I've been doing some testing on a belt right now as well as I love their uh, their belts. Their belts are very durable, and they do have a variety of belts and colors, as well as a duty belt, I, I believe. I'm going to have to check that into that a little further. I saw a video on that. But also, you also have EDC gear from uh, Core Essentials. So check them out. Go to their website, coreessentials.com. And if you need 10% off on all their belts, as well as uh, accessories, use my discount code. It's Keenan 10 and I'll uh, note that at the bottom of the video. So on with my video. Okay, folks, uh, what I do is uh, a lot of times I'll get some uh, questions and that people want me to answer regarding uh, particular things about firearms and I'm great. I'm, I'm happy to do that for people because some people need to know certain things and uh, it's best that us in the 2A community help each other out. So I got a question from a guy named Sandin. Uh, uh, let me see if I got it pronounced right. It's uh, Sanfedista13. And he had a question regarding uh, the this particular firearm here. It was the, It's a Valor V-Bob. As you know, I got this uh, recently for my birthday. And he wanted to know about the magazines. Will this magazine... Uh, will the magazine... And this, or the magazine from the Dan Weston Specialist, will fit inside this. And this is my Dan Weston, Weston Specialist. I think he has a Dan Weston Specialist in, a, uh, I believe, a 5-inch. This one is the commander size uh, version. So he wanted to know if this magazine from this firearm will fit inside this one. And just to prove... It does. So a lot, I've been getting this question a lot. A lot of people get fooled by this Bob hammer, uh, not hammer, I'm sorry, uh, this bobtail right here. A lot of people get confused and they think the magazines won't fit because it visually they think that since it's a 1911 that it's supposed to be straight and they think they're supposed to be a special magazine. Any magazine, 1911 magazine, will fit inside a bobtail type uh, 1911. So this is the original magazine here. You see that fits. You see this is the one from the specialist. That fits as well as a Wilson Combat 10 round magazine. It will fit as well and, the, and it will operate it as well. Uh, might not be aesthetically pleasing, but it does work. So that was the question. And I think, like I said, I've been getting this question a lot and people always um, ask me that, especially new shooters to the 1911 world. They get a little confused on, because of this uh, main, uh, main uh, spring uh, right here. They get worried about whether the magazines would fit properly. They think, I guess, there's a special uh, type magazine but it is not. I'm going to let, just also let them know there are some advantages and disadvantages. When you have your flat magazine in here, it's going to offer the most concealment if you're wearing this undergarment. The negative I see with this is the way I load my load these magazines is sometimes if I put that magazine in and you see where my hand is, I will slap it hard right here and sometimes get pinched between here and here. Where, right where the lip is in this area. So I will sometimes get my hand pinch on, on my support hand. So that might be a negative. So it's it's not that big a deal, but if some people might have that issue, I do get pinched every now and then. I don't worry about it. I'm a big boy. So on these magazines, what I like about these is there's a little bit of a base plate. So that base plate, you can just slam that as any way you want to. So that's not a problem. Same thing with the 10 round magazine. Might not look that good because it's like it, you have that bobtail mainspring housing right there. So you're, you're, it doesn't have that aesthetic look. 
as you see here on the specialist, you can get away with that look. Uh, another thing I just want to let them know uh, regarding this is when you're using these flat magazines like that, where, the, where you have a flat um, base plate, sometimes when you're putting this inside, note how the magazine is sticking out the, the bottom because you don't fully get that get that push in for that. So then you have to use your thumb to push the magazine in there so it will seat properly. And it will work, but you just have to be conscious of if you have a lot of 1911 magazines with flat base plates and you have a magazine well here, you're going to have to make a conscious effort to use your thumb to make sure it gets seated properly. Uh, the This is my other Dan Wesson Valor. As you see, it will fit see how it fits flush here like i said i had that little pinching effect when i when i uh slammed the magazine in but that's not a big deal you can do it like that or you can make sure it's seated properly with your thumb so uh i wanted to answer that question because i've been getting that question a lot from a lot of um new 1911 owners and they've have been had their concerns about do they have to buy a separate magazine? So the the short answer is no. All 1911 magazines are going to fit in this, provided it's the same caliber. Okay, with that said, happy shooting. Stay safe. Hashtag 2A.